December 2015 at PRI, we met with the guys from Top Speed UAE about this competition. They would supply the parts, cover the travel expenses in the hotel, and we would go over there and build an LS engine and then put it in a truck and dyno the engine. And whoever had the highest average over 10 runs could take both the engines home with them. So I picked my friend Jason Hoots because he's experienced with the stuff and him and I work well together. And we had some insight from Howard from Redline Motorsports because he'd gone over there the year before. So we weren't going into it completely blind, but we didn't know exactly what to expect. I was excited when I found out that TRC was asked to come over and provide coverage of the event. Their finished product is always very nice and it was nice to have some familiar faces with me being so far away from home. Getting off the airplane and seeing this place for the first time and seeing the diverse set of cars and a much different culture and everyone was really friendly and, and basically just treated us like we were family the whole time we were there. We started off with just showing up to the convention center and undoing our crate and looking at our parts that we'd shipped over. They were going to supply common hand tools, which was probably the biggest hurdle of the trip was there was just a lack of hand tools. So we were, both teams were working out of a very, very small toolbox. So we were waiting on the same socket at times. What about an old engine? Pull them out of the old engine? Immediately our brand new ring filer just let the smoke out of it because the power converter wasn't right. So we ended up using a drill to drive the, the $800 ring filer because the motor burned up on it. So that was a big hurdle uh, and it caused a bit of a time delay. We had help from Dino King. They sent two guys over that just tore this truck apart so fast. They just had the engine out and they were waiting for orders for what to do next. A really, really helpful couple of guys. And they, they bought us some time back that we lost without having the right tools. that I was up against was well prepared for the competition. They had done this once before and they had a, a good group of guys that worked well together. So it was hard for me at times because I didn't speak any of their language and they only spoke a little bit of my language. So if I needed something simple, a tool or some direction, it was, it was a little difficult to get through. But once we started working together, it, it became very easy because of the just universal car guy mannerism kind of brought it together and made it, made it a, an easy thing to do. But it was, it was funny because car guys, it's kind of a universal language. So even though we weren't communicating very well with words, we knew when the other person needed help or, or you know, the jokes, the jokes amongst car guys, it seems like no matter where you go, wherever I worked before in other countries, it's always the same set of jokes. <laughs>
I'm Jay from Real Street Performance. I'm here in the UAE. I'm Hisham Ibrahim from Al Yassi 7 Performance, UAE Abu Dhabi. The day went okay. We were nervous this morning. Uh, probably didn't sleep much last night just thinking through what we had or didn't have or could get or we're going to have to do without. We install it, we collect the parts together and uh, tomorrow we will install it in the tracks. But the engine went together well and we're all assembled and ready to go into the day tomorrow for getting it in the truck. Everything is going well. We did it like a piece of cake. The day overall was pretty easy. Uh, they gave us some help to get the engine out of the truck. So all we did basically is build the engine throughout the day and get to see some local customers, which was pretty cool. When it came time to make the first run on the dyno, I, I was uh, I was nervous. Push. 